Hello, my name is Chloe Nelson, and the poem that I will be reciting for you today is a poem, Resisting Arrest, by Kyle Dargan. This poem is guilty. It assumed it retained the right to ask its questions after the page came up flush against its face. The purpose that this poem serves is obvious, even to this poem. But that cannot stop the pen or the fist choking it. How the page tastes at times. Unsalted powerlessness in this poem's mouth. A blend of that and what it has inhaled of the news. It spits blood inking. It is its own doing and undoing. This poem is trying to hold itself together. It has the right to remain either bruised or silent, but it is a poem. So here's you be safer if you stopped acting like a poem, ceased resisting. Where is the daylight, this poem asks, and is thus crushed between existence and resistance, between the now bloodied page and the poem? Another poem will record the arrest of this poem. Decide what to exert. That poem will fail. It won't find the right metaphor for the pain of having to lift epigraphs from the closing words of the poem that were accused of resisting. That poem is numb. This poem is becoming numb, already losing feeling in its cuffed phrasing. No one will remember the nothing which this poem was accused. Just that it was another poem that bled. This poem never expected to be this poem, yet it must be for you who will not acknowledge the question. This poem knew it was dangerous to ask.